Right then, so you've got a Mini, okay? You've decided you're going to go on holiday. Let's say Covid's gone for now. And you want to go to mainland Europe and you want to take your Mini with you. What? What do you need to do? Can you fly this, okay, in mainland Europe? So, the first questions are, okay, are you flying or are you going by boat? If you are flying, the first thing you will do is you will go to your airline and you will just check to see what the carry-on rule is for batteries. Now, typically these are perfectly fine in carry-on, okay? So carry-on, three batteries, should not be an issue, but however, Disclaimer, check with your airline. Do not check on Facebook, okay? It's called Google, okay? What you do is you type in your airline details and you'll put what batteries, what batteries rules are and you should find out, okay? That's the first thing you're going to do, okay? Is check what batteries you can do. Typically 99 watt hours and then you can carry like three of them. However, these little things are nowhere near that, so you could probably take 20 of these on and it shouldn't be a problem. However, do check. Don't take my word for that on the number of like 20. So just check, okay? Now, we all know of the drone registration scheme in the UK, and we've come to discover that we cannot fly using the Demares in mainland Europe, okay? Um, and that's just the way it was. We came out of the EU, you know, the UK has its drone registration and its Demare system. Now, you need to be able to do that for mainland Europe or anywhere in Europe, don't you? So what we really want is we would like one of these. Yay! We want a YASA or U European Union Aviation Safety Agency certificate for the A1 subcategory and the A3 open category. That's what we want, isn't it? Where did I get one? How did I get one? How much did it cost? These are the questions that are going to be answered today. Um, so, now, where did, I, where, where did I find this? So, this is by Eurocontrol, okay? Um, and they're in Luxembourg. So, all I will do is I will provide the link below okay so I will put the link below for you all okay and basically it allows me to fly anywhere in mainland Europe in the A1 subcategory so the mini okay it allows me to fly in the A3 open category okay so that would mean in the A3 open category you could take your Mavic or mini okay with you on holiday and so phantoms mavic 2 pros you can fly them in the a3 open category with the certificate okay so that will be doable okay um now the disclaimers are as follows each european country may still require you to register as an operator okay so while i took this test for Luxembourg if you like it does cover the whole of Europe mainland Europe should I say but it or EU countries but the important bit is okay each country may require you to register as an operator okay so like the nine pound the UK fee we have okay that may still apply depends where you go in Europe you will have to check okay that's the big disclaimer here okay um, this should be accepted across and you'll notice that my operator ID has looks in front of it LUX okay I did not put in my UK operator ID okay I let them give me the Luxembourg one and you'll notice it says looks RP so remote pilot looks remote pilot so it shows that as a remote pilot I have done a test and I've done a European one okay that's all this does. It does not mean that I've registered as an operator or anything else. Okay. It is free. It is online. Okay. And 
it's just then going to be down to airspace checks for a particular country you're flying in. Um, I would say hopefully each country's got its own version of Nats Drone Assist. However, you may have to go off the DJI app, but beware, we all know the DJI app lies. So don't get yourself caught out, whatever you do, okay? Be really careful on that. Um, also be really careful on privacy rules because different countries have different rules on privacy. So you've kind of got to be careful on that as well. Okay, so the privacy questions in the course kind of got me uh, on one or two bits, but it's not that bad. So what's the course like? That's what you really want to know. How hard is it? Um, what's it like? What language is it in? Right, let's start at the beginning. So it's all in English, okay? All of the course is in English. When you create your account and you say where you're from, you'll say UK, okay? And then scroll down to other because it'll ask you what what company you're from. And you'll see lots of stuff like CAA in there and all kinds of stuff. Scroll down, just click other, okay? Um, you can then just go in from there. So I put my business name in and everything. Um, and I, it goes what, you know, are you the boss or whatever? Just go yes, yes. Just put whatever you want in. Okay, I don't think they're checking up, um, but I, I suspect they're about to get <laughs> several hundred people applying for these, so they might start checking. But all you've got to do is put your details in, okay? Don't put an operator ID in, don't put a remote pilot ID in, you'll get a Luxembourg one then, okay? So just follow it through. It is free, like I say, so it's broken down into modules, okay? And each module covers a certain area. So one module will cover weather. One module will cover privacy. One module will cover what aircraft you can fly. You know, and the rules. And it's interactive, so it's not boring read stuff. You get to, you get to fill in and do stuff to test your knowledge. It is really well presented. It's really good. Um, there's a couple of bits that I think are subtly wrong but then depends what country you see so by Luxembourg rules versus the UK rules you're thinking well hang on a minute so I have to go it's very well done I scored in the end I scored 90% on the main exam which made me very happy um, the course you get a month to do it. it took me an hour to do the whole thing including the exam so I did it this morning I'm expecting every other YouTube channel to jump on the bandwagon once this knowledge comes out. Um, so yeah, expect everyone else to do this. If you do like this knowledge and you want more stuff like this, please hit subscribe because the only way that I'll keep doing it is if you hit subscribe and then I can go, right, okay, I can justify sharing the knowledge because I do believe knowledge should be shared. Okay, and the only way it can be shared is if there's an incentive to, if you like, make the video. Um, you know, that's the only reason. So you can end up with a nice certificate. Like I say, this is not the A2 certificate. This is not, not for A2 aircraft. Okay, I might sign up to their A2 course uh, because there is no practical flight test. And if it gets me the A2 in mainland Europe, I may do that as well. And the real incentive is just hit subscribe and I'll get enough subscribers. I will just go and do it. Okay. So I'll put the website link below and everything else for you all. Okay. It's, it's, it's not hard. It just takes an hour and a half of your time in this weather. If you're thinking of wanting to take your mini on holiday to mainland Europe, I suggest do it. You know, Spain has always been one of those countries where it's been a pain um, to fly there and operate legally. Hopefully now it just became a lot easier. Just fill in the, the paperwork, get your remote pilot um, certification. Obviously you may have to, like I said at the beginning, register as an operator. Um, yeah, uh, and it's not hard. Uh, just go do it guys, it's free, why not? I'm gonna speak to uh, Stephen at Drone User Magazine and see if I can get this printed off as a little card, because I, I, I want that as a card. Um, and I need to get my others done as cards as well. But yeah, and that's it. That's that's what you need to do, guys. And remember, check each country. I'll say it again. Check each country. You may have to register as an operator ID. Okay. But each module covers different subjects, and it's great. It's really good, and it's very interactive. Um, 
enjoy guys safe flying um yeah take care have a good one cheers